welcome back to my channel so today I have a really exciting video I feel like all my videos are exciting but today is extra exciting because I took my booty to Sephora Queen Center Mall this morning and I picked me up the Rihanna Fenty collection not all of it but I picked up like the things that kind of stood out to me the things that I wanted I actually have been so busy that I didn't even realize that it launched today and so I went on snapchat and I realized that everyone was at like this press event yesterday for the collection for the release yesterday here in New York so I'm seeing all these bloggers there and I'm like half asleep and I realized that today it launched so I woke up super early went to Sephora I had work today I had a client here in my house but that didn't stop me I went and got me some so let me stop talking let's just get into it I'm going to go ahead and first just go through the products that I picked up so the first product that I picked up is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So it says this has a smooth pore diffusing finish. It's going to extend your makeup wear. So you get 1.8 fluid ounces and this is the soft matte finish. So I'm guessing she's going to come out with something that's glowy or dewy because this is just like the start of her collection. This is just like the launch. So this is what the packaging looks like for this. It kind of looks like the new Becca primer if you ask me. But it has like the dusty pinks and the mauves and like the peachy tones which I like. I love new Next up we have the foundation. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Same amount of product, 32 ml. And this one says medium to full coverage for all, long wear, light as air. So the most important thing I think for me for this foundation is that it comes in 40 shades. 40. 40. Not 4. No shades of some other brands, but 40. And I am so, so happy about that. So I picked up shade 240. It was kind of crowded today at the whole like gondola, but I was able to pick this one out. I kind of just test matched it on my chin slash jaw, so I didn't really like put it on. But this one has the warm like yellow finish, so I originally was going to get 200, but it said cool, and I don't like cool foundations. So I love matte foundations, even though I have dry skin. So this is what this package looks like same size. I love that she thought about the small things. So the bottle is actually not all round. It's actually square on the side. So when you're holding it, it's super easy. Like it's just the small things to me. Of course, I love the frosted bottle. I just love the packaging. A lot of people are comparing this to ColourPop KKW, but I'm sorry. This does not look like the Kim Kardashian. Like some of the products, yes, I can see that like the brushes, but I think this looks better. I don't know, this just looks like higher quality. I don't own any of the Kim Kardashian beauty products, so I can't speak because I've never actually like, held anything, but this has some weight to it. It just, it's clean. And I think for the price point, I'd rather get a really great product and like nice packaging than like amazing packaging and the product kind of be compromised. I'm all the way here for better product, simple packaging. So this one is the foundation. I think this next product is the one that everyone's most excited for or that's had the most talk about. So this is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in Trophy Wife. So this is that bright gold, yellow gold. And my girl who actually works at Sephora, Natalie, she had it on. She's actually the same color foundation as me. So she wears 240, I think, as well. She was wearing it all over. And she was saying that she was going for that editorial look because it was very yellow gold on her. And what's really cool is I actually was talking to the Sephora representative. And we were, like, having a blast with the swatches. I stayed there for, like, an hour. I think she said she wears mocha in the stick but she's a lot deeper than me and we were swatching it on her arm she was swatching it on my arm like we were just playing with it like she was doing it on my body like we were having a blast like everyone who came up to like kind of our area we were engaging with them we had a girl come up and we swatched this trophy wife on her and it was awesome sauce we were just having so much fun so it was nice to see like the product working on different skin tones because obviously when I go in I can only swatch it on my arm but because I had the Sephora rub there like I was cool and I was watching other people we were like talking but anyway this is trophy wife and this is what the package looks like what is this an octagon this reminds me more of like H&M makeup if you're gonna compare it to something because I feel like they have like that really clean simple look and that's not like a shady comment or anything I think their products look cute like if I came out with a line I would do very simple like clean simple like just just the words like I like that look that aesthetic so this is what trophy wife looks like so beautiful I mean it's just it's a bright yellow gold we're gonna be playing with all of this so let's get through these products we have three more so I did pick up another of the 
the kilowatt highlights but this one's the freestyle highlighter duo so this one comes in two shades and this is in mean money and hustla baby I love the names too they're really cute and they're so Rihanna I'm so happy for Rihanna you know she was so low-key like she was minding her own business flourishing and now she's here like just releasing this bomb as makeup line so this is obviously the same package but this one has two highlighters inside and one is supposed to be like a highlight and then the other one's supposed to be like a glitter topper for my skin tone this one was the one that worked the best there was one that was a little bit icier there was one that was a little bit more like rosy like a rose gold and then there was another one that was like bronze so oh and there was one that was like a white gold I should have picked that one up but it just it got so crazy there and I just I forgot to get that one but this one's in mean money hustler baby which is the one that I plan on using as a highlight this one was kind of a last minute purchase for me like I picked it up kind of at the end of my shopping trip I guess you can say this is the Invisa matte blotting powder so this is in Universal and I actually just watched the video of Rihanna talking about all her products and I loved the story behind this and she was saying how she's been a victim of the translucent powder gone wrong where it's like a white cast under her eyes and you know we've all been there well maybe not all but I've been there even where I just I set myself and then when I go out and take pictures you can see See that it's lighter in that area so we never want to be that person so she came out with a product that's universal for everyone for any skin color so it's a, a white looking powder but it's gonna work for you so I love that and I wish I would have got the brush because it like magnetizes on here I didn't even realize that it was so early that I just I was just trying to get something you know but I might just make another trip to go back and get like maybe a couple of the brushes and the blotting papers look really cute but I got this and it looks like a little purse to me I don't know it just it's really cute and right here is where the brush kind of attaches so that's why it's shaped like that so that's what it looks like you get a mirror Ooh, there goes a little insert so you do get a mirror everything obviously has their little plastic insert very nicely done nothing looks like it's coming out of the pan like everything was just so well thought out I don't even want to touch anything yet but this powder it just doesn't leave a cast and so I was talking to Natalie because she's actually a makeup artist at Sephora she was putting it on two clients actually while I was there they were so sweet we were talking they were Caribbean and they had like that beautiful rich color and they have this on and you could not tell like it just looked matte it looked soft I'm excited for this I can't wait to just throw that in my bag just to like mattify myself even though I'm dry I get oily t-zone so I'm excited for that and then last but not least we have the gloss bomb you know I had to pick this up this is a universal lip luminizer in Fenty glow so I'm guessing she's gonna come out with other colors I guess but this is like the universal one she said she wanted this to be for everyone so it says it's universal finishing touch addictive shine nourishing wear so I was watching Rihanna talk about it and I just felt like I could relate when she was saying how she just throws this in her bag and she applies it for no reason because that's something I do like I apply lip gloss all the time for no reason so this is what she looks like really cute everything has like this octagon like hexagon kind of shape really cool I just think it's so like 2017 so some people are saying it looks cheap to me it looks simple and classic and not messy so let's see if it has a scent Ooh, it smells like an old-school lip gloss that I used to have lip smackers it was one of those childhood glosses. I need to look up to see if anyone else knows what I'm talking about. Oh my god, it smells so it smells like candy. I love it. So that's that. And before we get started, I just want to, you know, say that I'm so proud of Rihanna, not only for coming out with a makeup line, but for thinking of everyone that really truly is a start because not a lot of people can say that they did that, you know? So she's low-key, she was doing her own thing, and she drops this makeup line and it's in stores. So you could actually go play with it. It's not an online online only exclusive like the thought everything the shades like I mean Rihanna did it I'm sorry Rihanna killed it I haven't even tried anything yet like for real like I was putting the highlighters on in the store but like haven't even gotten this on my face and I'm already hyped I'm already in love like when I heard Rihanna was coming out with a makeup line for some reason I thought it was with Mac and I was like okay like whatever but this is her own line you know so I'm excited so I don't have any makeup on I just have on mascara and a little bit of face oil so I'm actually just gonna hydrate my face just a little bit with some primer this is just from Mac this is the natural radiance it's the yellow one just because I know that my face needs moisture like I'm not gonna play myself and put this on with no hydrating primer and then be like oh this looks cakey like no 
we need a thorough review, a realistic review. So here we have the primer, retails for $32. So far this has four reviews and they're all five stars. And one even said that they have dry skin and that they have trouble with blurring primers because they pill. And this one is moisturizing, blurring, and mattifying. So you're supposed to apply one pump at the center of your face and blend outward. So that's what we gon' do. So that's what we gon' do. Ooh, that's a little. Okay, no, I think we're gonna do like maybe three. Okay. And I'm going to apply this to the center like it says. And we're going to work outward. So it doesn't have a scent. Got it in my hair. Feels really smoothing. It doesn't feel dry. It's so weird trying like new primers because like you want to compare it to something you have. But this doesn't feel like anything I have. I mean the closest I can say is like a Smashbox or something. I really can't compare it. It's smoothing but hydrating. I guess like the touch and sole one that's like not drying at all. My skin has like some nice bounce to it but it doesn't feel sticky. It just feels like smooth. It feels like baby skin. So while that kind of sinks in, I'm going to read what it says about the foundation. So I'm on the Sephora app. It says it retails for $34. I picked shade 240, which is for medium skin with very warm undertones. Again, this foundation comes in 40 shades. And they had all of the shades at the Sephora that I was at, which is the Queen Center Mall one. So it says it has a medium coverage for sensitive, normal, dry combo or oily skin. It has a matte finish. It says the ultimate photo filter in foundation form. I'm here for that. It'll give your skin instantly smooth, pore diffused, shine free finish that easily builds to medium to full coverage. Oil free formula is made with climate adaptive technology that's resistant to sweat and humidity. Won't clog your pores so that wherever you are, it's gonna work on your skin. Best of all, this long wearing light zero texture is undetectable on your skin so you always look like you. So this is what Rihanna says. Foundation is one of those areas in the beauty industry that has a big void for women at extreme ends of the shade spectrum. There's a middle ground that's covered really, really well. But then if you're very pale, or if you're very dark, there aren't a lot of options. And so I wanted to make sure that women of all skin tones were covered so that they could be included in what I created. And Fenty is 100% cruelty free. Okay, Rihanna, I'm here for you. I love that she included both ranges of the spectrum. My cousin is very fair. Susie, if you're watching this, okay, she's fair. Fair, fair as can be. And I try to find the foundations for her. Like, I'll give her like my lightest foundations if I get a PR box. And sometimes she comes back to me and she says, oh, it was too pink. It it was too yellow so I love that Rihanna has everyone covered all undertones so I'm here for it so I'm gonna shake this up because it does say to shake it so I'm actually gonna take my finger and dot it around so that I can get like full even coverage I'm gonna get that all over okay so I definitely pumped too much onto my hand like there's a lot here but that's okay I get a little I get a little excited sometimes you know I'm gonna blend this in and my face is lighter than my body. It's not because I tan, but because I do a lot of peels. And so the tan that I had from the summer is still on my body. But on my skin, I do like peels and masks and, you know, all that good stuff. All that skincare stuff. So I'm going to blend this in. It's blending out really nicely. I mean, it just like literally just went into my skin. Like it didn't even move. It didn't get picked up. The color is great because it has that yellow undertone. But it's not like overly yellow where I look like a Simpson. Like it's like a neutral yellow. We'll just put the rest on my neck because I don't want to waste it. So I took a little bit longer to blend here. So I noticed that it was trying to like dry up. So I kind of had to press a little bit harder. So you do have to work a little fast, which is totally acceptable because it's a matte foundation. So I mean, matte foundations dry matte. Where dewy foundations, you get a couple more minutes to kind of play around. So it's like drying like a powder on my hand. And this color does look like it's kind of setting in a little bit darker, I guess. But it still matches. Like it still matches my body really nicely. Like looking on the monitor, looks good. I'm going to lower my lights a little so you guys can see it. She looks good. She looks set. I look even. I guess I'm used to using foundations that don't match me. So I'm a little like blown away to the fact that my skin actually looks like my body color. Like, is that weird? Usually I'm used to seeing myself a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, but this is pretty perfect, so okay. So I'm gonna speed through concealer, brows, a little bit of eye makeup, and then we're gonna come back so that we can do blotting powder, which I don't think I need at all, but we're still gonna try it. Highlight, lip, so I'm gonna speed through this part. I'm just gonna do quick makeup because I really wanna get this video out and it's really just to test these products out. So I'm not gonna do the most, but I am gonna put a little bit more on and I'll be right back to check in with you guys, see if anything changes with the foundation. But so far, I'm liking it. I'm actually loving it. 
What do you guys think? Of course, I'm gonna do some Rihanna music right now. Like, it's only right, right? totally forgot that I was gonna use this as my eyeshadow so I'm over here doing my makeup but we are gonna use trophy wife on the lid and I didn't want to do like too much of an eyeshadow look today like I literally just want the gold to be the focus so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this as my shadow and I'm just trying to figure out what brush I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna do the Smith 253 don't mind the face right now like I'm not done blending the contour and all that but I needed to put this on I completely forgot so let's do this so it did kick up a little bit, which is normal, especially for a product like this that has glitter. So we are going to, ooh, oh my gosh. It looks like liquid gold. It looks like you took a cream glitter and just melted it. I love it as an eyeshadow. See, this on my face will be too yellow gold. Like if I worked at Sephora, I would do it or like at MAC or if I was going out or something, but I'm gonna use this just as a, a shadow today it's definitely shimmery it blends easily because i'm like spreading it and it's moving nicely so i'm just going to kind of blend it a little bit more i feel like you could totally sheer it out and just have like a pretty gold sheen like if you don't pack it on like i did and have like that pretty just like glitter showing through like i see girls do that all the time it looks so pretty like where you just see the glitter and not the color but that is very nice I'm different i don't have anything like that like it almost looks like a green that's how yellow it is you know so i'm loving that i'm just going to take my bronzer just to kind of blend the crease into that So now it's time for some highlight. Let's just ignore these lashes. I don't know. They have a mind of their own today. We just gonna leave those things alone. I went with something different today and they're a little weird, but that's okay. It's not the focus. So before we get into highlighting, I am gonna spray my face because that's what I usually do and I don't feel like doing it differently this time. So I'm gonna spray myself with some Max Fix Plus. This just helps like the cakiness go away, but honestly, I don't feel cakey at all. So I still am gonna do this because this is what I always do. So. Okay, so now for the moment, I've been waiting for the highlight. So it actually has two shades. The one on the left seems pretty matte to me, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm just picking up that, like, cream color. I'm just going to put that on. Okay, so it's like a, a nice, like, subtle, almost like matte highlighter. It's like when you don't want to look too glowy, this is still going to highlight you, but it's not going to accentuate anything. Like, it just is, like, barely there. But you know my style. We're going to hit it with the, with the real quick. You know what I mean? <laughs> now I'm going to take Hustla Baby, which is that Wham Bam Glow, and we are going to go to town. Y'all see this right now? I'm gonna take my beauty blender, just kind of blend that a little bit. It's crazy because I can see the glow, but it doesn't look as dry as some other highlights. Like lately, all highlights have been so texturizing on my skin because the weather's shading here in New York and it's getting less humid out, so there's less moisture in the air. So my skin has just been like, like a sponge, just like not trying to like let me win. So the fact that this doesn't look like other highlights that I've been wearing lately, I'm here for it. I don't see like the little texture dots. It just looks a 
little bit dry, which I'm okay with. Like, I will gladly take that because I still haven't found the highlight lately that will even give me this nice finish. So it is definitely beaming, so I feel weird with no lips, so let's just put this gloss on. The Fenty Beauty Lip Topper, and I'm just going to wear it alone because she wears it alone, and she says it's universal, so I'm going to put it on. Ooh, it's pretty. Super shiny. Has some color to it. It's like a... It's like a bronzy, rosy nude. Like it looks like your lips but with shine and shimmer. It kind of looks like my lip color but like darker, shinier, and glitterier. So pretty much not like my lip color. <laughs> I could have even done like a lip liner with this but that's okay. I feel kind of weird. I feel like my face looks kind of flat. So let's just bronze me up a little bit more. I'm kind of curious how this highlight would react with a different brush, so I'm going to use my Smashbox fan brush, which is a lot more precise. Ooh, I like that. I think I like that better. Since it is such a beaming highlight, like I think I like this kind of brush better than the Anastasia. I just think it places it better than this. And I'm going to throw this into my inner corners, because why not? Brow bone, we are just gonna be glowy today. Golden goddess. That's what you wanna feel like every day. Now, let's take Trophy Wife and we are going to apply it to our body. Ooh, that's yellow. <laughs> you see how yellow it looks on me? I mean, if you blend it out, it's not bad, but I think it's a little too golden for me. Normally, I wear like champagne because I don't really fake tan. You see, that just looks, this is the other one. I think that looks better. Sorry, I scratched myself there. So my skin is so sensitive and easily marked that it just stays red. Let's put some here and here. Not on our shirt. Of course, I get it on my shirt. I'm not really shiny right now, but I kind of want to just test this out anyway. The translucent blotting powder, and I'm just going to place that in the center. Ooh, I like that. It literally is invisible a little on the sides because I don't like when this looks oily like right here or my chin that really just pulled it together so here is the look that I created obviously it's not like too focused on the eyes or anything like it's a quick simple look the lashes are kind of crazy but that's okay the focus is the foundation the eyeshadow which is really a highlight the highlight the gloss so so far love the primer the lights washed me out so I did go a little bit more ham with my bronzer but besides that my foundation looks so good right now it looks a teeny bit dry around my nose like the slightest bit but that's just like a my personal issue because I have dry skin the blotting powder the translucent looked so good like I can instantly tell my mirror that it just mattified it not that it was shiny but you know when you put your spray on or you go a little ham with the highlight like I do I like to mattify the center of my face so trophy wife the yellow gold highlight might be a little bit too yellow gold for me it's pretty as an eyeshadow would I wear this eyeshadow frequently probably not but it looks gorgeous on deeper skin so I think if you are deeper than me you would love it as a highlight but for me it's really just gonna be for the eyes or like sheared out on my body like I would really have to like blend it into my legs or wait until I get tan to use it because the undertone is just a little too yellow for me so that's that but I think it's gorgeous and like when you move you can see it it looks like dancing glitter it just looks like it looks wet and I like that it looks almost like I have a glossy eye on the highlight was gorgeous I mean hello it's amazing so definitely love the mean money and hustler baby so now I want to pick up the other ones because it just it looks so good it looks like skin it just looks beaming it looks good on camera I went a little extra on the nose that's okay the gloss is so pretty like I love everything pretty much it looks so shiny feels comfortable it's a little bit goopy like a tiny bit but not much like not at all where it's gonna bother me like I'm very specific about my lip glosses this one's really nice and I feel like it's gonna look so good in pictures because it's so shiny and I don't see any glitters 
on my lips but in the package you can see them but they're so fine they're so minute what this is gonna be so pretty over nudes like lipsticks or just any other color like this is a great lip topper but I think you can wear it on its own too and I feel like it just makes my smile look shiny like I really like it so that's that so pretty much everything is a W in my books everything was a win the only thing obviously is trophy is a little bit too yellow for my skin tone but that's something personal formula wise it's gorgeous so I still really do recommend everything that I picked up. I love it all. Uh, the brushes were a little bit gimmicky for me, so I didn't really pick them up, but I do want to pick up the one for the blotting so I can like attach it to my blotting little compact. And I do want to get the blotting sheets because they're cute. It looks like a little scanner. I don't know. It looks like a little fax machine. It's weird. I don't know. I'm weird, but I do want to pick that up because it's small and compact and I like that I can blot on the go. Like when I go to events and I get sweaty, I like, like blotting myself. A lot of you guys were saying that you were going to wait until my review to purchase or not so that truly means everything to me like the fact that you guys trust me so if I were you I would definitely pick up at least one of the highlights like whichever suits your skin tone a foundation for sure the primer and the translucent powder so those are like my and the gloss pretty much everything but if you only had to pick two I would say a highlight and the foundation like if you're having a hard time finding a foundation shade that matches you exactly the foundation and if you have like your holy girl foundation and you don't want that I would say the highlight and the gloss or the highlight and a translucent powder. It really just depends on what you have in your collection and what you need. But I think the price point is perfect. I think the colors, the concept, the packaging, they're all there. They all made the mark. So I'm excited to see what else she comes out with. If she does come out with other shades or more products, you know I'll be on it and I will review it for you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe. It means the world to me. I'm trying to upload three to four times a week. So don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you are alerted when I do upload because can't stop, won't stop. That's my motto right now. I'm really trying to bust these videos out for you guys and I have a ton of other cool different things. I know lately it's been like sit down and make up videos but I have a lot more planned. I just, I need to get these, you know, in. So thank you for showing me so much love and support. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.